IntelliCare turns any home into a smart home. We install a range of smart sensors into the home and they learn what normal routine looks like through movement, door open and closed and power and utensil usage. We then upload that data to an Internet of Things platform. We run it through our AI engine and we learn what's normal behaviour over the period of about a week. And by doing that, we can then send alerts out to families and caregivers when something's out of the ordinary. And by doing that, we allow people with disability to live independently, people who are ageing in place to live at home longer and defer or avoid the cost of aged care. Well, typically when people are older and they have a problem, they turn to a pendant as their technology, a duress system, which they press if they have a fall if they're in trouble. But unfortunately, in 80% of falls, people don't use them because it's not charged or it's not on them, or even when it's on them and it's charged, 30% of people don't want to press it anyway because they don't want to be a burden to their family. Because we use passive sensors and AI, we have our recumbent limitation and we detect it without any involvement from the resident at all. Fundamentally, our tech are commercial off-the-shelf sensors, but our secret source is the AI and the Internet of Things platform. We can integrate any kind of sensor that comes along, so we're taking advantage of the innovation and sensor technology and binding those together in a smart way, such that we look at patterns of behaviour, and rather than looking at has an event occurred, we can start to predict things occurring. So rather than asking a question, has mum or dad had a fall, a better question to ask is, are they likely to have a fall and is that changing over time? We've already made a positive difference. We have plenty of testimonials from our customers. Um, I think that in the future with the stress in aged care, with the lack of government funding and the problems with residential aged care and nursing homes, um, people want to stay in their own home. It's their first preference anyway. So the more we can allow that to happen, um, we'll make a concrete difference not only in the lives of that person, but their family, their caregivers, and the community around them that supports them. Our tech is as dumb as it'll ever be. Um, so I think as we get more users on board, and we've already built a simulator, we can start to take real advantage of machine learning and become more and more predictive. For instance, a human can look at our application and detect things like a urinary tract infection or diabetes, and these things lead to deterioration over time and might result in someone entering aged care. With our data, I think the machine will eventually be able to do that and replace the humans, and then at scale, we really start to be able to use the data for good and also to be able to use it for medical intervention and to inform research in the future.